Have you ever found yourself staring out at the ocean, letting your imagination wander, and asking, what's down there? And just how deep does it go? Well, today, we're gonna answer at least one of those questions. We're taking you on a true deep dive to the world's lowest known point, the Mariana Trench, an extremely deep scar carved into the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, plunging over 36,000 feet down, deeper than Mount Everest is tall, so deep that if you dropped a rock from the surface at its deepest section, it would take six hours for it to hit the sea floor. It's the most inaccessible geological feature on Earth, darker than midnight, colder than your ex's heart, and under pressure so crushing, it would flatten a human body like a soda can. But how did this trench, this abyssal wound, even come to be? And how in the heck did humans ever find it? Before we begin our descent, take a second to like, subscribe, and share this video. We're working to grow the channel, and it's no easy feat. So tickle that like button, join the feeder community, and share this video with that one friend who's absolutely terrified of the ocean. Sound off in the comments. Are you down to swim in the open sea? Or are you an ankle-deep beachgoer? Our journey starts in 1875 with a ship called the HMS Challenger. No, not the Space Shuttle Challenger. This was the British Royal Navy's Challenger Expedition, the world's first true oceanographic survey, tasked with mapping and understanding the mysterious depths of the seas. Armed with 181 miles of rope, yes, literal rope, scientists aboard the Challenger began dropping weighted lines overboard to see just how far down they went before hitting bottom. Near the Mariana Islands, in a region now called Challenger Deep, in honor of the ship, their line plunged an astonishing 4,475 fathoms down. That's over 27,000 feet. But remember, they weren't even at the trench's deepest point yet. It wouldn't be until 1951, nearly 80 years later, that a new HMS Challenger 2 returned with better sonar technology and recorded the trench's true maximum depth at nearly 36,000 feet, confirming it as the deepest known point on Earth. Naturally, humans being humans, someone decided we should probably go down there. Cue the era of undersea exploration. But getting there? That was another story entirely. Early attempts were just that, attempts. Some submersibles could only handle a few thousand feet before their hulls threatened to implode. But then came a daring plan, and two men crazy enough to pull it off. In 1960, Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh boarded a peculiar contraption called the Trieste. The Trieste wasn't your average submarine. It was more like an underwater hot air balloon. With a massive gasoline-filled float for buoyancy and a steel pressure sphere slung beneath it like a wrecking ball. On January 23, 1960, the Trieste began its descent. For nearly five hours, they plunged into absolute darkness, deeper and deeper, until finally, at 35,797 feet below the surface, they touched down at the bottom of the trench. When they switched on their lights, they saw something that left them stunned, a flatfish swimming across the seabed. It was proof that life could thrive even under crushing pressures over 1,000 times that at sea level. Their triumphant radio message back to the surface was simple. Everything is okay. But after that historic dive, no human returned to the bottom of the trench for over 50 years. It wasn't until 2012 that filmmaker James Cameron, yes, the Titanic and Avatar director, decided to tackle the trench himself. Cameron designed a one-man submersible, the Deep Sea Challenger, and solo piloted it nearly 36,000 feet down to Challenger Deep. 
for a few breathtaking hours, he explored a place no other human had seen in half a century, gathering samples, filming, and fulfilling his lifelong dream. Because why settle for directing the two highest grossing films of all time, when you can also dive to Earth's deepest frontier? And what does the future hold for the Mariana Trench? It's become a hotbed for scientific research. Why? Because it's like a window into another world. The organisms that live there have adapted to pressures and darkness that would kill surface life instantly. Biologists are studying trench bacteria that could help develop new antibiotics. Engineers are studying trench amphipods, shrimp-like creatures whose shells contain aluminum armor, stronger than anything we can currently manufacture. But there's also a darker side. Recent expeditions have found plastic bags and candy wrappers at the trench's bottom, proving that even Earth's most remote places aren't safe from human pollution. Some researchers worry that deep sea mining could soon target the trench's mineral rich depths, disturbing ecosystems that have been untouched for millions of years. So next time you gaze out across the ocean, wondering what's down there, remember, there's a place so deep, so dark, so crushingly silent, that even our wildest imaginations barely scratch the surface. But humans, being humans, will always keep diving deeper, chasing the unknown, uncovering the secrets of Earth's final frontier, one fathom at a time. If you enjoyed this true deep dive, give us a like, subscribe for more stories from the far corners of Earth and beyond and share this with someone who loves to ponder the mysteries of our world. Until next time, keep your curiosity deep and your fears shallow.